Hey Libras, <clears throat> I'm back y'all with another video for the month of November, all right? So yeah, let's talk about November, all right? Let's get into it, all right? This is gonna be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you have Libra anywhere in your chart, you can utilize this video, okay? North node, south node, it does not matter, okay? So this may resonate with some, it may not resonate with you. It may or may not, okay? So take what applies and leave the rest. All right, so look, give me a message for the Libra. Give me a message for Libras. For the month of November, for the remainder of November. What's going on with my Libras currently? What's going on with my Libras? What message is there for the Libra? Give me a message for Libras. A couple more shuffles, guys. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, guys, we have the moon. All right. And the page of swords. There's lots of spying going on for sure. Maybe you're investigating. You're trying to figure something out. There's a lot of people talking about something here. There's a lot of gossiping, a lot of he say, she say going on right now. This is kind of possibly pissing you off. Um, so I see you being very like, you know, you're listening out on what's going on. Okay. Cause there is some tea getting ready to come towards you or you're trying to look for something. All right. We got the Knight of cups. First card jump out is the communication card and the four of swords. Wow. <laughs> Three of Pentacles and the Empress. Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Strength, King of Swords, Judgment, and the Ten of Swords. Wow. I think you could be hearing about something possibly at work. I'm getting like there could be some gossiping going on at work. Like I said, this is a general read, so take what applies and leave the rest. But for some of you, I feel like there is something possibly involving three people. We got three people here. Four people here. And I feel like you're tired of talking about it, tired of hearing about it. Like... You're ready for this to be over. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles, please. Two of Pentacles. Yeah. There is this back and forth thing going on, okay, about someone's past, okay? So, something here about the past, it looks like it's being brought to the forefront. Okay, it could be involving a Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Lots of Pentacles here. Okay, Four of Pentacles. Somebody is refusing to let go of someone. Could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, someone here definitely be could be being tricky, sneaky. There's just some sneakiness going on here. And we got that nine of pentacles and that six of wands. Okay, so somebody is cheating their way to the top. That's definitely what I'm getting. I'm seeing it looks like somebody is cheating their way to the top. And is being gossiped about, heard about. So it looks like there is some, definitely like some gossiping going on. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Now tell me more about this two of pentacles. Ooh. All right, that's too many cards. Why are the two of pentacles here? Thank you. Still a lot of cards, but we'll take it. Okay, yep. Somebody keeps going back and forth, trying to be keep something a secret. The high priestess in the moon is Pisces. This energy of Pisces could be involved. We got this queen of cups here. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. But definitely somebody is cheating their way to the top somebody is cheating this is like somebody's faking their way to the top fake it till you make it type of energy but somebody keeps going back and forth okay so tell me more about the knight of cups the magician 
somebody could be making okay the nine of swords wanted to come out to confirmation okay so you it looks like you're trying to give the situation some time to, to come out okay we got temperance the fool six of pentacles and a three of wands and a nine of wands okay yeah, I'm getting, you heard that somebody possibly could have been married with this four of wands. Okay, and this page of swords, this is the spying card. Maybe you saw somebody together or somebody saw you and somebody together. I don't know. But yeah, it's definitely like giving me, you're giving this situation some time to the air to hit the fan. I see a lot of anxiety okay on about this about this i'm getting rumor i'm gonna say rumor because that's what i'm feeling like what's going on we got the devil here could be a capricorn involved but somebody is possibly afraid to tell the truth or speak their side of the story or the or their side of the story i'm getting like there's multiple stories going around Yeah, somebody's somebody is putting on a show. Somebody is putting on a show here. Okay. Why is the four of swords here? Yep, the tower. The challenge is the tower. The four of swords and the tower. So the challenge is tired of di being disappointed or tired of things falling apart and you having to fix it. Okay. So tired of things breaking, tearing up, going wrong, and then you having to be the one to clean it up and fix it. So maybe this is somebody else's situation that somebody else is going through and you're kind of like tied to the situation. For some of you, I don't feel like this is directly your situation. I feel like this could be somebody around you. Why is the Empress here? This could be someone's baby mother. Oh, this could be someone's wife. The Hierophant and the Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away from a marriage. Somebody walked away from a wife. Yeah. I'm, okay. Somebody walked away from a marriage. Maybe you're trying to find a way to get this person to talk. Because I'm sensing that there are secrets, okay? Somebody keeps going back and forth. There's somebody that's doing a juggling act, going back and forth. Possibly to a Pisces with that moon and the high priestess. Or something is very much so like trying to be private. Trying to be keep something under wraps. It looks like someone walked away from a marriage, okay? And somebody is afraid to look like they lost or afraid to admit that they feel defeated or someone is afraid to be in the middle of a conflict because it looks like somebody is doing very well. The other party could be doing very well. And I just see you spying. I just see you looking, watching someone. To see how somebody's doing. To see if they're winning or not. Like to see what they've accomplished. But somebody's not saying nothing. The four of cups and the eight of wands could be a Capricorn. Somebody's not saying something. Okay. I see a relationship here with the lovers and the two of cups. But somebody was being sneaky. Somebody lied, cheat, manipulated. You know. Was being sneaky. Somebody's... <laughs> Somebody's waiting on justice. Some, or somebody's waiting on somebody to get a divorce. Yep. Death and the four of wands. So you're waiting for this person to get a divorce. The truth has already looked like it's a, it, it has already gotten out. Okay. So I'm getting like you could be moving on or this person could be moving on from this heartbreak. But I'm getting there was a third party. Okay. So now this is kind of making a lot, a lot more sense to me. I'm looking like, okay. This is a lot. All right, so it looks like you could be waiting for somebody to, to get a divorce. I feel like somebody has walked away. I feel like you're tired of all um, the conflict of this situation, the secrets, the lies. 
Um, maybe you can't get somebody to tell you what's going on, so you have to spy. Now, in the past energy, we got the Ace of Pentacles here. All right, it looks like there could have been a hardship financially. Okay, we got the Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So, I'm looking like in the past, maybe you were watching what you were spending. Maybe you were watching what you were spending because it looks like you may have just either just recently got out of a financial burden or you just made a big purchase of some sort. Okay, so it, this is what I'm saying. Like, it looks like you're over here. I, I, don't, I just don't feel like this is particularly for some of you. This could be you in this situation, but for some, I'm just picking up like maybe this is somebody that you're around this is someone that you're conversating with or something like that tell me why the queen of cups is here for future energy so i'm getting a few people involved here why is the queen of cups here six of wands okay so yeah whoever this water sign is pisces cancer scorpio you feel like this person loves attention could be a gemini but Either their relationship is messed up, they're going through financial issues, but maybe they portray to the world like they got everything together. But see, I just keep getting you want a chance to see how somebody really feels, what somebody's really going through. Um, and I'm getting somebody feels like they control everything. We got the Queen of Wands here. It could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Um, and it's like, hmm, tell me more about this six of wands. Some, I did not tell y'all seven of swords and the ace of cups and the six of wands. You feel like somebody cheated their way to the top. Like, they cheated. They, they're they cheating their way to the top. Like, it's like somebody is faking their way to the top. You feel like somebody is cheating. Cheating their way to the top. Now we got the strength card here. Could be a Leo involved. Tell me more about the strength card here. Okay. The six of pentacles and the two of wands. Maybe you're giving somebody this heads up. Okay. This could be you. Now I feel like you found out this information. And maybe this is going on with possibly a friend of yours. Or somebody that you're close to. I feel like you could be giving somebody a heads up. Somebody definitely has control issues for sure. Why the six of pentacles here? It's like you're giving somebody an idea, giving somebody, um, giving somebody notes or like on how to handle the situation. Why the six of pentacles? The king of wands. Okay, could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries for sure. I'm getting like you're giving somebody a heads up on something. Gosh. You're giving this person a heads up that something is headed their way. You heard something was headed their way. Somebody either walked away. Somebody walked away from a marriage. It looks like a wife, somebody either the wife walked away or husband, somebody, the husband walked away from the wife and there is a separation, the four swords in the tower. And it is like it happened all of a sudden. It's like all of a sudden. Now, the person that's in a situation, they're feeling like the king of swords and the emperor. Damn, they're feeling very much so like they got this in the bag. They're in control. 
this person could be like, if this is a work situation, something that's going on at work, this person could definitely be a supervisor, a boss, HR department, but whoever this is, this is like a business owner of some sort, they are completely ready for for the drama. They like, okay, bring it. Okay, because because we're gonna get this handled, we're gonna get this figured out. Now we got the sun card here again. Um, definitely Leo's energy and the queen of pentacles and the justice card. So it looks like um money could be involved in a situation. It looks like somebody is getting a debt settled. Um, but definitely they're you're watching them and they're watching you. Especially the, the five the page of swords and the hermit. Okay, yeah, this person is over here investigating. This person is over here doing their own investigations, okay. Mm, okay let's see we got the judgment here this is a lot going on why is the judgment here this is in your hopes and fears we got the page of cups all right so the final decision is it's like you're you want to go ahead and speak up Finally, either you're finally, either you're like, finally, you know, I'm going to finally speak up or you're someone is already speaking up and you're like, finally. Okay. Because, Ooh, there is, it is about a romance for some of you. This is like a romance at a job, or this is somebody who was around you that could possibly like be going through this. The person here is reckless, childlike, very childish acting. Um, like, somebody here is just irrational. But we got that outcome as the Ten of Swords. This reading is so, like, wow. Well, the Ten of Swords is the outcome. So something is definitely coming to a complete end. Okay, we already see the tower here. So once the tower is here... A lot of times what happens after that is the Ten of Swords. So why is the Ten of Swords here? Queen of Pentacles. Could be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Okay, I got the King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Virgo Taurus Capricorn and the Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius Aries. These could be the this could be the two people who are involved in this situation with the two of swords here. It looks like they're at some type of crossroad because it looks like the Knight of Swords and the Two of Swords. This is a very um irrational, childish ass relationship. Connection, business ship, business uh partnership. Something about it is just very irrational, okay? Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. Someone gets cut off financially. The sun, okay? We've got Leo's energy here. Somebody is cutting somebody off financially, I feel like. Once this truth comes out, okay? Ace of Swords and the Page of Cups. Look at this. I'm getting a clear message. It says, don't see, somebody is saying, I don't see what, why you feel regretful or guilty. Somebody needs to get a divorce. The four of wands and the three of swords. But somebody feels guilty for walking away. This is what this is. Someone feels guilty for walking away um, from a marriage. Instead of just getting a divorce, somebody just picked up out of the blue and walked away. Okay. Yeah, it's like somebody is causing a lot of conflict, bringing a lot of conflict towards you. You want this person, somebody needs to get over their past. Six of Swords and the Six of Cups. Somebody needs to move on from their past. Could be definitely a Capricorn. These two cards definitely symbolize Capricorn, the Devil, and the Knight of Pentacles. Um, somebody's holding on. Somebody isn't ready, fully ready. I feel like somebody walked away from a marriage, but they really wasn't fully ready. They did it for whatever reason. Could have been for financial reasons um, or something like that nature. But whoever this is, they're still holding on. Okay, they're still holding on. They haven't completely let that situation go. 
Yep, because see, we got justice, which is you guys' energy. They could have did it for revenge or get back, but some somebody is feeling like, look, I should have waited the, to make this move, okay? Maybe they're feeling like they should have resolved this issue beforehand, okay? Yeah, and they're feeling like it's too late with the Four of Cups and the Will, the will of Fortune and the Five of Swords. They're feeling like it's too late to change it now. They already made their move. Um, but definitely feeling like they should have waited. Definitely feeling like they should have waited. Somebody gets cut off financially for sure in this situation. Tell me why the sun is here. The world, I'm telling you. Something here is coming to an end. Okay. Somebody's also afraid of what their friends is going to think of them. Could be a king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Because it looks like somebody here is in a relationship, possibly with the fire sign, queen of wands. But the situation is knight of swords and two of cups. Like, their relationship is extremely toxic. It's childish. It's a lot of irrational behaviors going on. And I feel like there's, however, there is love here. We got the lovers here. But somebody is feeling like they should have been more patient and waited something out with that seven of pentacles. Um... But, like I said, somebody is feeling like they already made their decision, but they feel like they should have waited, possibly, and stayed single. Um, but they're looking back at their past. Somebody's looking back at their past. Um, and they're angry. They're angry. Okay? And like I said, somebody is separated or headed towards a divorce, but somebody's feeling guilty about it. With the regret card here, which is the Five of Cups. And I'm getting, I, you see why I didn't tell the truth. <laughs> All right, this is wild, okay? So, y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Definitely, for sure, for sure. Let me know if this is what, if this is you in the situation, what's going on. If this isn't you and this is somebody's situation that is around you. Let me know what's going on in that comment section below, guys. Be sure to hit that like button and share with your family and your friends, all right? You guys can check out my website, um, www.empressempireoils.com. And if you're interested in booking a personal reading, I'll leave my email address in the description box below. And you can contact me in order to go ahead and get you set up for your very own personal reading. All right, until next time, guys. Ciao.